The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly. Produced by Lynn King. Well, we're here in Bedford, Kentucky, and I found Brent Taylor, and they're doing a special event here today. What is that, Brent? This is the Trimble County Cares for Life. 5K. 5K run, and then the money that you're going to be raising here is for what? Uh, half the money will be going towards the Trimble County Cares Coalition here, that, which will help out with substance abuse programs and everything like that. And then the other half will be going to uh, the Trimble County Relay for Life. Oh, that's wow, that's great. And there's other events coming up for the Relay for Life, isn't there? Yes, yeah, yeah. And you'll be part of those, I'm yeah, sure. We'll be part of those too, yeah. And I think the, the Relay for Life is in June. I'm not exactly on the right. date, but June. Now, if somebody couldn't make it out today, they can still donate to this event, can't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they need to talk to who? What's a phone uh, number we can have or a, an address? We can talk to Daisy Toppett. Yes. And I don't have a phone number. That's all right. She's at the high school, yep, so we know where to get her. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we'll drag her over here in just a minute. Yep. We'll find out where we can send some money. So yep. that'll be great. Yep. And then they can also volunteer some time on some of the events that we have. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Daisy, she's got a lot of programs throughout the year where she she needs volunteers for this and that, especially with, like, uh, next weekend we have Project Prom coming up. Yes. And lots of volunteers needed for that. Especially for the night of. Yep, right. Oh, well, if you can make it out. Try to volunteer for that night. Everybody needs help oh, to yeah. stay awake. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Lots of coffee, too. Yeah, lots of coffee. Well, thank you, Brent. I appreciate you taking right. the time. Thank you. Well, hello, Mike. We're glad you could be with us today. This is Mike Beard, the Trimble County Cross Country Coach, and he was one of them that helped put this together. He and the Taylors did this. So how was that putting it all together? Was that fun? Uh, it was a bigger job than I thought it'd be. We. Uh, there was a lot of obstacles we had to do, and a big thing we we're trying to do is make sure the roads would be closed and safe yeah. for everybody. And I have to say that just the, the police department, everybody yeah. who took a part in closing the roads and all that did a, a perfect job. It was much better than we even thought it'd be. And just, we owe them, you know, this race is because of them. We owe them a lot just for that. That was a big deal. Yes, it is. It makes it easier for you all to run. Plus, it's a lot safer. So they, and they were out there smiling. They were enjoying what oh, they yeah, were Oh, yeah, everybody was having a good time. It was, it was nice. It was nice, you know, the small town. The right. small town thing was nice, and, you know. Now, how many people did you have entered this year? This is the first year, so. Um, we had about 70 or 80 people pre-registered. And I think, I think we probably had, like, 120 people. Oh, that's great. Right. I think it's, yeah, I think it's the biggest race we've ever had here too because they had the race a long time ago. Right. So yeah, I think it's the biggest race and it's just the first year. So. Oh my goodness. So you have plans for next year. You were telling me that you've already got things in your oh, mind yeah. you want to do. Every, it seemed like every single day we uh, we came up with something new we could do just to make it efficient, make it easier for people to sign up, everything, you know. So next year's race will be, uh, it's just going to be twice as good. Oh my goodness. Everybody's going to have to keep that in mind and make sure you register next year and come out to do this event. Now, is there anything people can do to help out with this event right now? I mean, in the next couple of weeks or In so? the next couple of weeks, the best thing you can actually do is try to contact one of us. Let us know what you liked and didn't like because That's we're trying to create a good race for the participant. So the best thing we can get is feedback. That's the best thing we can get. Oh, wow. Well, Mike, I really appreciate you being with us today. And we've got more runners coming through, don't yeah, Mike. we? Yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah. Well, you have a good day. Well, we found Miss Daisy, so now we need a contact information on how to donate to this if somebody could not make it out today. Yes, you can um, make a check payable to the Trimble Cares Coalition. I mean, that can be mailed to Trimble County High School at 1029 Highway 421 North in Bedford, Kentucky. Um, or you can bring it to the high school to attention to my attention at Daisy Toppins. Um, or you can get in touch with me, and I can like meet up with you and figure out donations. Right. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, if you couldn't make it out today. Try to make a donation to this. And then there's other events Brent and I were talking yes. about earlier that there's going to be going on. And you have one is Project Prom next weekend. Yes. Well, then two weeks. On April, oh, two weeks. April 30th, um, we have Project Prom. We've been doing it since um, 1993. Yes. Since then, we have not had a, um event that night involving our youth and substance abuse, which is a night notorious for underage drinking. Yes, it is. Um, 
basically after prom we lock them all in they're there for a substance free supervised night until 6 a.m. Um, we have games for them they all get a prize for coming so good incentives um, donations to that help us pay for everything it's completely fundraising and volunteers we need volunteers from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. that day and then you can also contact me at the school at 502-663-0055 that's awesome and you definitely need volunteers for yes. that night don't you yes it takes about 40 to 50 volunteers and about $10,000 oh, so gosh. it's a big night now, are you close to your ten thousand dollars already? We are. Um, oh, we yes. have. We are. We are doing okay on fundraising this year. Um, always, we can use more. Will help us. You know, make right. sure that we have everything we need that night. And um, there's always things come up that night. And then anything we have, of course, will go to next year's project prom. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, Daisy, I'm gonna let you get back to okay. this event. We have our runners coming in. Okay. I think we've already had one come yeah. through. Yes. So that's awesome. If you haven't been able to make it out today to this special 5K run and you want to donate, please make sure you see Daisy at the yep. Trimble County High School and make a donation to the event. And then that way that will help them out a whole lot. So Yes, or you can come to a Trimble Cares Coalition meeting. They're open to the public. Yes. Um, and those are every fourth Wednesday of the month at the Extension Office at noon, yes. um, except for July and December. And those are open to the public. And it's all of our community stakeholders talking about substance abuse prevention in the county. And, and that's really a unique event because you have all that networking there mm -hmm. you it's can law enforcement um, our county attorney most of our mental health agencies yes. substance abuse agencies um, fiscal court school district um, basically it's everybody coming to the table to work on one cause oh that's that's awesome I think y'all do a great job thank you that, so. well thanks for okay. being with thank us you. well we are here with Steve Goodwin and Leo McMillan and you will not believe how many counties these guys have raced in now Leo how many have you been in 120. 120 and you? I'm just short of 120. I've run 119 okay, okay. Kentucky counties. So yeah. we're going to have to hold this guy down so he can finish and they, they can tie. He can run in the county and he won't be there. All right. But, uh, I'll be with you. Yeah. Now how old are you guys? I'm 74 next month. I'm 79 the 80 in October. Oh my goodness. And you made some of the young guys look bad today, didn't you? Well, I hope so. <laughs> he, he did. He did. Yes, he did. So now is there anything you'd like people to know about? about as far as running or you know getting out and doing things like this with special events uh, only thing I would say that if you can do it yeah go out there and hit all 120 counties and you really be amazed and surprised at all the different counties and all the beautiful scenery and the wonderful people that you'll meet at all these various races and you end up having a lot of friends don't you oh sure do oh, yeah. all the state and uh, Kentucky is rich with history uh, a lot of history in, in West, especially Western Kentucky that I, I enjoyed watching all the history and, and enjoyed Everett County and the beautiful sights. I thought it was a beautiful state. Oh wow. Well, I think you guys, you all have a real passion for this, don't you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. From the mountains to the, all the way down to the river, to Ohio, and Mississippi. Mississippi River. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. So can we expect you guys back next year? If you have this race, I'll be here. They're going to have right. it next year. I'd say it'd be 99.9% .9 sure. Oh, well it'll be so good to see you guys again. I tell you, these guys are full of life. They're very light, very happy hearted and um, they made a lot of the young people look bad today so if you want to excel at something you're going to have to beat these two so just get off the couch and keep moving <laughs> get uh, off the couch and keep moving i will say this no let anything stop you i've had a five-way bypass i've had a stent put in and two knee replacements oh my so just goodness just keep going just keep, keep going. going you get those artificial parts and be like a robot <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we, we're so glad you guys were here today. Okay. We appreciate you coming Thank to Best Friend, Kentucky. Yep, yep. Glad to see y'all having another race. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, you all, make sure you make it out to one of these events. So, this is just wonderful. These guys have had a ball today. So, the young kids and the, and the young adults, they've all enjoyed this. And we hope you can make it out to a special event. Make a difference where you live. Thanks for watching. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.